Hey, welcome to our home. Come on in and check it out. I guess we'll start over here. Obviously it's not finished yet, um, but there's a lot more progress than there was a few months ago. Uh, this is gonna be the dining room. And then we have a, a bar that separates the dining room from the kitchen. And there will be bar stools right here. And in here it will be kitchen cupboards that will line the bar. All the way up the kitchen sink will be right here. and then a good size living area for all of us to hang out downstairs and for us to host people that come over for like church small groups or for staff meetings for different things and, and that kind of thing. And, and on the left is the bathroom for three of the bedrooms downstairs. So downstairs we have um, bedrooms for three of our kids and this first bedroom is for, um, we call our bedroom downstairs for our three littles. Um, two of them are boys, and our two seven-year-old boys will be in this room. So they will have, they have like a cool little bunk bed with a slide, so that'll be in this room. So this is for our other little, and that's our six-year-old girl. And outside there is a mimosa tree. And so when it is in full bloom, the mimosa, um, blooms you can see right outside this window and it's really pretty. I love this room. <laughs> this is our mudroom. I've never had a mudroom like this. And then this is our master suite which we have never had a suite before. Uh, we currently don't even have our own bathroom. Um, so this is our bedroom and this bedroom is, um, yeah, it feels enormous right now. And then this is our bathroom, which our bathroom in the closet in here, we have a walk-in closet. Um, it's kind of dark in here because there's no electricity yet, but the, the bathroom and the closet together are probably bigger than our bedroom we have right now. And then we'll head back over to the stairs and head upstairs for the rest of the bedrooms. And So this first room is kind of multi-purpose. It's a very long room that's about the same size as our living room. This whole floor is going to house the older kids, we call them the olders. Uh, so this is 13 on up, age 13 on up. This first bedroom will be our oldest, Jameson, who's 18. We picked this room so if any of the, his sisters try to sneak out at night and go see a boy, he can stop them. That's what I told him at least. And then the first, in the next room is the bathroom. It's got a bathtub and shower, and it will have a double sink. This is wonderful because right now we have one tub and shower for all 10 of us. And now all the teenagers will have their own. And this next room is our oldest daughter, Alana. This will be her room. This is the next room and next to last room. Um, this room is for our special daughter, um, some special needs type stuff. Um, so this is her, her space. This is where she's gonna go to find the quiet and the, the serenity she needs. This is gonna be for our other two daughters, our other teenage daughters, um, and they already share a space, but right now they're sharing a space um, that's a converted dining room, so they don't have a closet. So I think they're probably most excited about actually having a closet. So that's it. That's our house. This is uh, what we're looking forward to and what we're going to move into. And thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming by and seeing the house. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll show you hopefully again sometime when we've got it completely done and all the light fixtures are in and everything as well. Good afternoon and welcome to Habitat for Humanity's 16th annual Tool Belts and Bow Ties Gala. Presented by O'Reilly Hospitality Management and Big Shots Golf. I'm Rick Moore from KTTS, one of your hosts. Hi, I'm Nancy Simpson. We're so glad you're here with us today. Since 1988, Habitat Springfield has helped more than 1,369 local people and families break the cycle of poverty by providing safe, quality, and affordable homes. And with your support today, we can continue that mission for years to come. Now, sit back and relax as we kick off our first ever virtual tool belts and bow ties game.
Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, and thank you for joining us. I'm Dr. Jeff Nagy, the Executive Director of Habitat for Humanity of Springfield. Today is our 16th Tool Belts and Bowties Gala. And I'm Abby Glenn, the Development Director. You being with us here today, this afternoon, means a lot and it matters. Like all the families we serve and support, you matter. Your support matters, your action matters, your love, your prayers, they matter and they make a difference. Here in Springfield, we are so proud and blessed that we have built or renovated more than 150 homes for families in need. People and families in Springfield, like all over America, are experiencing the widening gap between wages and housing costs. Home prices are rising at two times the rate of wages. That's when we come in, to bridge that gap. That's why we matter. That's why your support today matters. Today, you can stand in the gap with us and make a real impact on the community. You have the opportunity to make home ownership affordable to the people and families right here in Springfield, not with a handout, but with a hand up. Well, if you haven't already done so, go to the tbbtgala.org and sign the sign in button. That's right, be sure to start bidding on all of our auction items. We've got wine, we've got furniture, and gift certificates from all over. Yeah, and once you've registered to bid, you'll receive updates throughout the auction via text messages. Now, don't forget, the auction ends tomorrow, Friday, April 2nd at 5 p.m. Good afternoon, I'm Tim O'Reilly and I have the privilege of being honorary chair of today's Tool Belts and Bowties Gala. We're so glad that you are here with us. Building a home or a Big Shots Golf is not a simple task. It takes time, energy, hard work, and a lot of money. Not having the resources to buy, let alone build a home, is one of the biggest roadblocks many families in Springfield face. Generous giving from supporters like you allows this amazing organization to fulfill their vision of a world where everyone has a safe, quality, and affordable place to live. They can all call home. One out of four Springfield citizens lives below the poverty line. Your support makes a lasting positive impact on the lives of those that need it the most. So join us in the fight to provide safe, quality, and affordable housing in Springfield. Your generous giving will change lives. Here's how Habitat has impacted Amanda's family. Um, my name is Amanda Alshire. Um, I really found out about Habitat because 11 years ago, my sister um, had a house built. Um, she qualified for Habitat. It was a really uh, big deal for her. She uh, was a single mom struggling and uh, She'd urged me afterwards, it was a beautiful house, I was very proud of her, she urged me to apply. It changed my life. I started at the ReStore, um, working my hours and going to the, the uh, Tools for Life classes, which I thought were amazing. I thought it, the array of things that they offered, like homeowner's insurance, you know, I, I really hadn't, you know, I mean, I had just common knowledge of homeowners insurance so to be able to to get that insight um, I felt like all the classes that they offered were really beneficial um, to just life in general of, of whether it's it's budgeting or um, you know food budgeting um, eating healthier everything like that was uh, was just it helped quite a bit um, it's definitely been life-changing. Um, it meant everything. It meant, um, like I stated earlier, just seeing people care. And also, um, through Habitat, what I love is that it's it's really a hand up, not a hand out. Um, it's something that you have to put in the work for, that you have to want, and that you have to want to get better. Um, you have to want to improve and to see 
a community and I think it helps the community come together to help help people do that. Um, T-Mobile's been involved with Habitat, um, but their um, women's, uh, women's leadership network within T-Mobile basically said, what would it look like if we built a house? Can we do that? Can we provide enough volunteers, you know, five days a week to, to build a house? And, um, and they did. It was really awesome because there was never a question of if there were going to be volunteers, if there were going to be people here, uh, they were here all the time. And they made it a really, really big deal to be able to, to talk to me, um, to, to find out more about my story, share their stories uh, with me, and to make sure that everything went smoothly, um, including uh, throwing a party on the day I closed at T-Mobile. And, um, oh wow. <laughs> I knew kind of it would be big, uh, but I didn't really realize. And we pull up and like my kids' names were, in huge letters on the lawn. Wow, sorry. <laughs> and, uh, so, huge letters on the lawn <laughs> um, that spelled out my kids' names and uh, all of these people uh, basically waiting outside for us to get there and when we get there, um, it's like this huge party in the call center um, and they really wanted to celebrate. Um, they wanted to celebrate the work that they had done and show everybody, and everybody was so excited and so happy um, to know that they had built my house. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I felt nothing but love from every single person. And, and so after everything was all said and done, um, I said, I wanna work for that company. <laughs> And uh, went and applied and, and got the job uh, to hopefully help do do good things. I will be able to do things um, thanks to having a home and a mortgage. You know, like we'll be able to go on our first family vacation next year. And <laughs> um, which is. which is unfortunate that they're that two of them are 17 and 18 for that um, but we get to do it and um, I, I think Habitat's so special um, because it's not a handout um, I think when you work for something so hard you appreciate it so much more um, it's not a quick fix it's 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 a forever fix you know it should be a, a it's not a band-aid, it's, it's truly something to help you better um, so many aspects of your life. Not just having a home, um, a new life, for sure, all the way around, if you allow it to, definitely. We want to thank each and every one of you who has participated in this virtual gala. To our sponsors, our individual donors, and you, our gracious supporters in providing affordable homes and critical repairs to those in need. Now here's a message from our presenting sponsor, O'Reilly Hospitality Management and Big Shots Golf. Ready to level up your hangout and live the unexpected? We're changing the entertainment game through our tech-driven golf games to fit every level of player, our mouth-watering scratch menu, and handmade cocktails. Here, we're all about celebrating life and creating memories with the ones you love. So now the only question is, are you ready to come take your big shot? Wow, you guys, are you are awesome. Thank you so much. You're here today because you have a heart and passion 
for making your community a better place for all people. Now, there are a lot of ways that you can be involved other than giving today. You can donate to the ReStore. You can volunteer at construction sites. You can be part of our communities that help make events like these happen. Again, thank you for having a heart for Habitat. Thank you for supporting our mission. Hi there, I'm Jeremy, and I'm the president of the Board of Directors. On behalf of the board and myself, I want to personally thank you for being here today, celebrating our 16th annual Tool Belts and Bowties Gala, and especially for your continued support of Habitat. If there is anything that 2020 has made abundantly clear, it's the importance of a home. And because of your gifts, your time, talents, and treasures, Habitat for Humanity has continued to deliver on its mission of building safe, affordable, and healthy homes right here in Springfield. Your donations today will help fund an entire Habitat for Humanity home for one of our deserving families, and we couldn't do it without you. Your support is so essential to Habitat's mission of building homes, communities, and hope. Thank you so much. Now, if you're just joining us, welcome. Go to tbbtgala.org to get to the auction. The items are great. That's right, we have other ways for you to give too. Join our Hope Builder Club for monthly giving that allows you to give generously all year long. And remember, every little bit helps. Whether it's 15, 150, $1,000, it all helps. You can choose the time frame of your donation and the amount. So contact Habitat to learn more about all the different ways that you can give. Remember, all the proceeds from this auction will benefit future Springfield families that need your help. You have the power to literally alter the course of someone's life when you choose to make a donation to Habitat for Humanity. Partner with us to provide local families with safe, affordable homes, renewed self-confidence, and hope for a brighter future. Make a life-changing difference in the lives of local families today. Like the Wilmoth family, one of the homeowners we're building a home for right this minute. We have a family of 10, and so we went from basically uh, two to four to five to seven to eight and then ten. So now we have a house full of people. I actually um, heard about Habitat many years um, before we applied this round. And so we went ahead and um, applied as a family and, and took that step. And it was it was a little scary because um, as a family we'd faced a lot of rejection. Um, as a family living in kind of impoverished situations you do you feel like face rejection and it's scary but we thought okay we're just gonna do it and um uh, and that's how that's how we were chosen to be a habitat family so it is an investment and and they say that anything worth having is worth working for and habitat definitely um you work for what you're getting um and what we're getting is the opportunity to buy this house um at a really great interest rate. <laughs> um, but it is a lot of work and there are lots of days when you don't want to come do your hours and, and you don't want to go to the class but um, you know it's a commitment that you agreed to and you know that you need the housing and so um, you step it up and you do what you need to do and, and you make things work and you find a babysitter and you um, and you come swing a hammer for a few hours or you go to the restore and you put in some time there or, or you show up for class and you get to know some other people who are in the program and, and you learn some valuable information um, and you keep going and you, and you look forward to the end of it. Um, I think that sometimes we get caught up in the process and we forget about the destination. And for us it's sometimes hard to see the destination, um, but we we're really trying to focus right now on that finish line and get to the end of it. There's a lot that goes into it too. Um, their life is full of firsts mm -hmm. and, and when you have your first home it's something that we've never experienced. We've never owned a home before um, but we've brought her home our first baby from the hospital. We've, mm -hmm. we've brought in our first foster placement. placement. You know, we bought our first car. We've, we've done a lot of firsts, but this is one that's completely different and completely new. And we're trying to get used to that and trying to imagine that. And we both have a pretty good imagination, but this is just, mm -hmm. it's kind of outside the realm of our experience. And so it's really hard to get a grasp of what it's gonna be like when we do move those boxes in and when we can flip the lights on and, and we, when I don't have to 
crawl down to the basement and cold water <laughs> and, and reset the sump pump. And, and those are the things that we know are going to happen, but we can't really completely understand them and envision them yet. Kids are kids. Um, it's funny. Um, our kids are, are invested in this as well, but their investment's a little different. Um, sometimes their investment sounds like, oh, do you have to go work on the house again today? <laughs> um, <laughs> sometimes it's, um, when are we going to get to move in? When are we going to get to move in? When we, it's, it's like the whole, when are we going to get there car fiasco, um, but with a house and it's day after day, week after week, month after month. There are lots of things and there are lots of expectations. There are lots of questions. Um, we have bigger kids, we have younger kids. Some of our bigger kids are excited about having more privacy, um, especially away from the littler kids. Um, our little kids are a little bit frustrated that they've been told they can't come upstairs um, <laughs> because they wanna have the ability to just roam the whole house. Um, so we're trying to set those expectations, but they're, they're so excited. We drive by, we walk them through every once in a while, and their eyes just get so big and it's 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 kind of fun and that kind of helps encourage us I think sometimes too um, to see that they're getting ready and that they're um, feeling that sense of excitement um, to move into their their real home too so one of our kiddos um, had a moment of um, just complete um, she just felt inadequate and just, she's our, our last adoption, a teenager, our oldest adoption, and just had a moment, just a really rough night, and it happens in our kiddos, and we understand, we, we're adopted parents, we get it. And uh, she ran away from church that night, ran away, and our whole church was out looking for her, and we, we ended up having to call the police and get them involved. It was a fiasco that lasted about an hour, it was pretty short. Um, but the police ended up asking me, where was she going to go? To friends' houses, that kind of thing. I said, no, I know where she's going to go. And I told them it was going to be this house. And they said, she's not going to go that far. And I said, mm, she's going to go. And I came over here, and, um, and she hadn't gotten here yet. And then I had to go back to talk to the police again. And I had sent um, somebody else over here. And that's where she went. She came over to this house. She came to her room, and but we hadn't had doors yet, and she had come up here to sit in her room because that was her safe place. And that's she had already started coming back at that point to come home. Um, but this is where they feel safe. So this is their place. So they already found home. But yeah, this is their place. We feel like our story. Um, it's unique. It's different. Um, but it's not the only story that matters. And there are plenty of people out there who need a story and they've started their story, um, but maybe they need some help to get to the next stage in their story. And we feel like our story and our, our sharing our story, our telling our story can help them take those next steps to maybe apply to Habitat, um, to maybe come and volunteer and see what the whole thing is about, you know, um, to, find ways to improve their own stand in life, whether it's working on their credit scores or paying down bills or whatever it might be, that's just gonna help them overall. Looking towards that finish line, that's really important for us, especially at this point of the project when we've got almost all of our hours done and, and the house is getting close to being done and, and uh, we need that little push sometimes to get us going the last few feet. I think I'm looking forward to um, it's kind of like putting together a puzzle. I've done all of the outside edges, but I don't know what it all is going to look like and I can't envision it. So I don't like those cupboards. I know that the boxes down there have cupboards in them, but I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to put in those cupboards and I don't know what that's going to look like. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how the dishes go in the cupboards and how it all will look. I don't, I can't visualize that and I'm a planner and so my mind is just whirling over that and I'm really looking forward to seeing it all done so I can actually like enjoy that and it, yes a cup of coffee would be part of that because I would drink the coffee and just sit and look at it all done and go okay now I see it got it for maybe two minutes before the kids ruin <laughs> something I'm sure but <laughs> but at least for two minutes yeah I mean it's it's gonna it's gonna transition into more than just a house. It's gonna become more and more home. And I think the longer we're here, the first month or two will be an adjustment. Um, our kids come from 
lives of trauma, we've experienced trauma in our own lives, and every time we move, it's a bit of a traumatic experience, even if it's a good thing. Um, and so I think that first month or two is gonna be some time of adjustment and getting used to the idea. Um, and then finally, once we get some time and get the, the ground to stop shaking underneath this, um, we'll kind of really start to put down roots here and, and have this be our home for the next 15, 30, 45, 150 years for our family, who knows. As you watch this from the comfort of your own home or office, give thanks and know that many families here in your neighborhood, in your community, in Springfield, just want that same chance. The same chance to have a safe and affordable place to live. You can do that today. You can make that reality for families in need. Now it's time for everyone watching to make a difference. Help us support our mission. Go to tvbtgala.org and click to make a donation. And please give generously to help support our mission of affordable housing. Our goal this afternoon is to raise $100,000. Help us continue the mission of building homes, communities, and hope. Your generous support is needed to push back against poverty and provide affordable home ownership opportunities to those in need. Go to tbbtgala.org and click on the menu button and then on the fundraising thermometer to see our progress. Be part of the solution. With your financial support for those in need, you can build strength, stability, and self-reliance with Habitat for Humanity by building a safe and secure place to call home. Who watching today has it in their heart to start us off with a $5,000 donation to cover the heating and cooling in one of our homes. Help us keep a family cool in the summers and warm in the winters. What about $2,500? That's enough to build a child's bedroom, a safe place to learn, to love, and to sleep safely at night. Who can give $1,000? $1,000 donation will pay for the drywall in one of our homes unlocking a world of opportunity for anyone who walks through. $500, siding. Yep, that could purchase the siding to keep a family safe from the elements. Let's keep this going. Press that donate button now and help us reach our goal of $100,000. $250, who can buy the doors, the finishing touch that helps build a home? Who can give $150? $150 to buy windows. You could buy the living room window for a family to look out while creating new memories in the comfort and safety of their living room. Your generous giving today doesn't just promote the mission of Habitat. It helps real families here in our community, in our beautiful, flourishing, thriving community. And how cool is it that Springfield native Tim O'Reilly is our honorary chair. Thank you, Tim. Thank you for raising awareness for affordable home ownership and for standing in the gap of rising housing costs and wages. Now, don't forget that the online silent auction and backyard bundle ticket sales end tomorrow, April 2nd. It's at 5 p.m. sharp. And again, thank you to everyone who has purchased a backyard bundle ticket. Bid on an auction item and to everyone who has made a donation today during the event. We'll be drawing for the Backyard Bundle tomorrow at 5 p.m. on Habitat for Humanity's Facebook page. We're going live, <laughs> we'll see you there. Thank you so much for being a part of this event and investing in our families and our communities and neighborhoods. And a big thanks to all our sponsors and volunteers. Thank you to O'Reilly Hospitality and Big Shots Golf for being our presenting sponsor today. We wish you a wonderful rest of your day and we look forward to catching up with you all soon.